I'm back with another video of how to be rich part two. And today we're learning about networking. So networking is gonna be the most important thing ever. So if you guys didn't watch the first one, you might need to watch that first one so you're able to get past this one, all right? Now, before we start going to the basis of this point of the video, we gotta spend some time with someone's birthday. So let's go. Okay, yeah, baby, you ready for the day? Getting back to the video of how to be rich part two, which is networking with a lot of people. Now, let's be honest, I haven't made a video for like the past three months ever since I released the first one, but I've been networking with so many people. But before we get started, YouTube has told me at least 99% of my viewers cannot hit the subscribe button with their nose. So if you're not subscribed, try to hit the subscribe button with your nose so then you can prove me wrong, all right? So, so, so let's go. Before you start networking with people, you gotta understand what you wanna do first. For me, I chose photography, videography, mainly videography in this base because it's been a lot of video more than photos. But understand what you wanna do first so you can brand yourself more and brand your own business. So then once you do that, you can pitch your idea to other businessmen or businesses itself. For example, if you guys don't do photography or videography like me, there's always other options like going big on social media or trying to pitch in sponsors or be, being a model, et cetera. There's a lot of ways you can do this, especially with acting. Just go take some classes, post some acting videos of you, yourself or try to find short films to do it. So then you guys, you know, you guys can brand yourself more. It's, it's, just, it's just a variety thing, you know? It just really depends what you guys can do. Now, before you guys start networking, understand who you want to network with. Understand the community, understand the people you really want to get around with. For me, it's a lot of wealthy people because think about it, they got supercars, they got mansions, they got private jets, they got like really nice houses. So like, why not network with those people so you can understand how you get up there too, like, you know? But I don't just network with uh, wealthy people, I network with a variety of people, to boxers, to models, to a lot of people, so then I can also just brand myself out more in my business and, you know, also even make an acquaintance or friend so they could be like in a video of mine or something like that, which you guys will be seeing soon. Now recently, I've met up with this model. Uh, he's, he's a model gig and he's also having his own Netflix gig soon. I can't really say much, but he did tell me some stuff. His name is Chris and he's actually a really cool guy. Uh, honestly, love that dude. Very pop, very amazing dude. And I did a lot of photos for him. And I did a lot of photos for a lot of dancers and just people in general itself too. After that day, I also had to do a video shoot for a car show the next day. So what good practice is that with a friend of mine named Mari. So shout outs to Mari. His Instagram will be down below, both Chris and Mari's Instagram will be down below. So definitely give them a shout out because they helped me understand how to shoot cars and how to shoot people. The car show was meant for this luxury brand business that I can't really say much right now because it's in the works and doesn't launch until next month in June. So when it does, get ready because my life is about to change. Just know this car show only happens in Tucson, Arizona and La Quintana. So A1 in Tucson, please go to that car show. Only happens every second Saturday of the month. So May 13th, go right now. So yeah. Put that in your calendar and just go. Just have a good time. I also had to wake up really early. And yes, waking up really early also helps you with throughout your day. So if you guys didn't watch my last video with self-love, please understand that waking up as early as possible, getting done with all your goals and your objectives through the day, writing down your stuff through the day, helps you a lot to get where you want to go. But me being able to like go to the car show, get to see all these Lambos, these Ferraris, these like classic ones too, and like Porsches, McLarens and stuff like that. I get to talk to a lot of like people who got those cars who actually made it up there, who have their own business that's doing really successful, like we're doing really good in real estate. And you know, it only takes a five minute conversation to get to know someone, you know? And for me in this case, I saw a lot of photographers there and I wanted to get to know at least one of them. And luckily I got to know one of him. The photographer I got to know him was named Matt. He's a really cool guy and me and him both dance. And because we have both of a dancing background, we decided to actually meet up one day and you know, Go grab a drink at Korean Rose and talk about if we want to make a dance video, which I will be talking that in a bit. But yes, the car show was super nice. It was beautiful and just the people were immaculate. And those are the type of people I really want to be around with are the people who are positive and the people that have their goals and want to help others to reach their goals too. Definitely 
go to car shows when you guys can, especially the really nice ones. After the car show, after all of that happened, I had a lot of editing to do with like, how am I gonna transition all these cars? How am I, sh how am I gonna showcase these cars? Editing is the hardest part when it comes to like video. I have a hard time understanding how I really wanna format these videos. So editing, editing, editing sucks. <laughs> Before we keep the video going, I know winter is over, but that doesn't mean you guys still can't get your panda sweater. It's I just want to sleep all day. If you guys are lazy and just want to sleep all day or just want to have a relaxed day, just get this hoodie because this hoodie is immaculate and it's a vibe. Link will be down below. Now, it took me a while, but yes, I did finish editing the video and I sent it to my clients. So, yeah, I knew what to do for the next car show, but I'm not going to show much for it because I don't want this whole video to be about cars. Besides doing a lot of car videos, I also ended up using hype videos for not just cars, but also boxers. So yeah, I ended up helping out a boxer. His name is Caleb. And if you guys want to find a good boxing gym in Tucson, if you guys live in Tucson or in, into boxing, go to MTK Boxing Gym Tucson. It's a really good gym and I highly recommend. But yeah, because of me doing that boxing video and finishing editing all that stuff, I also got to meet a lot of really talented videographers that are into recording sports or like recording barbers and stuff. So then it goes to show that I'm also gaining a type of recognition for myself when it comes to networking with people that want to brand themselves more. And it's not only just that one sport, it's also basketball. I also do basketball too, and I'm doing a men's league. So shout outs to Manny, even though you guys saw him early in the video, his men's league basketball team. And I do his videos for him and stuff, which I'm still having a hard time doing, but I, I'm gonna get there, I'm gonna finish there. So all, all the boys that are in that basketball team wondering when that video is gonna come out, when am I gonna send them the footage and stuff? Just wait, just wait. It's, it's taking a while and I have a lot of stuff to do. But it's all love, it's all love. Like, like it'll be worth it in the end, I promise. Because me and Matt have been making this dance too for like a month or like, I think like almost like two months now. Uh, we also wanted to actually make a really dope video for it. So yes, we actually did end up going to this really nice cafe, restaurant type vibe and it's called the Monica, it's in downtown Tucson. And honestly, it's a really good place. And shout outs to them for letting us even like being in there and recording and like giving us the opportunity to film. So shout outs to the Monica for that because it's, it's a really nice place to go out there, chill with your friends, or even just like have a nice like lunch or dinner date with like someone. So what am I trying to say here with networking? Now, when it comes to networking, you really gain opportunities depending on who you're networking with, who the people around you are, and who are the positive people that want to help you get to their goals and your goals as well. And luckily for me, I got the amount of people I got to network with and understand more from them and learn from them and they get to learn from me as well. Because of that culture, I got to understand the ways business goes, the ways how do you brand yourself more. And because I got to network with Matt and like a lot of boxers, it helps me plan future projects. And especially Matt, because me and Matt have been wanting to make a dance video for our entire lives, which is crazy. So it's, it's, it's gonna work out in the end and it just really depends like who you really wanna work with. So please, like when you guys get the chance to go to an event, go to somewhere, talk to random people and just get those social medias, get their contact information and make sure you want to contact them for future projects or hey, like let's make a video or if they ever decide to hit you up so you can make a video for them, then it helps you out in the long run. But other than that, that's gonna be it for networking part two. I know it wasn't as long as the first one because the first one went more of a psychological field but this one is more of a physical type thing where you should be doing it every single day. But please be careful on who you're gonna network with and understand their true intentions. That's the only advice I could give you guys. But other than that, I'll see you guys later and stay posed. And yeah, see you guys on the next video.